Good morning, I'm meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner. We've been following some severe storms that have been in the southern part of the country, especially um, say Georgia, uh, Alabama, Mississippi, the last couple of days, a lot of severe storms and tornadoes there. Um, overnight last night, a lot of the tornadoes were a little farther to the west across Oklahoma and Texas. And now we're starting to see that kind of shifting back to the east a little bit. Uh, but uh, this part of the country has been hit. This is the third day in the row um, with some strong, gusty, damaging winds, um, severe thunderstorms, tornadoes, and uh, that's likely to continue at least one more day. But that's going to continue to slide eastward. You can see up to the north and west a cold front, some showers and thunderstorms west of New York. That's the front that's going to move through our area this evening. We take a look at Futurecast. We'll zoom right in and we'll see partly cloudy skies this afternoon. Once we get to, say, 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, a few isolated thunderstorms begin to pop up. You can see that round, especially from the Triangle area northward through around 5, 6 p.m. And the northern part of the viewing area is where we'll have the the best chance of any severe storms, but that potential will be isolated. Once we get to sunset and beyond, all that begins to fizzle on out uh, pretty quickly. Here's a look at that severe threat all the way from Person County um, eastward toward Halifax, Northampton County, including Mecklenburg County, Virginia. And so those border counties are where we'd have the best chance of seeing any wind damage or hail the size of a quarter. It's going to be a hot day today. 91 in Raleigh and Durham. That's the high we hit yesterday. 92 today in Fayetteville. Uh, we're looking steamy right now and we're going to stay pretty steamy all day today but behind the front tomorrow looks much more comfortable our dew points drop back into the 50s it's going to make it feel pretty good it is still going to be hot out there um, and we're looking at some hazy conditions you can see our wind is coming out of the southwest right now earlier this morning we had some haze from one of the wildfires down in wilmington moving in but that wind direction is starting to shift as we get into the afternoon and that will eliminate uh, some of the uh, smoky conditions that we're seeing down around the wilmington area where they got a code red um, in effect. Now we are likely to have the potential for some Canadian wildfire smoke. Once this front comes through, our wind will be coming out of the north, northwest again, and you can see just some light smoke for us. That ke keeps us in a code yellow. That is not an action day, so um, most folks would be absolutely fine being outside. That's a pretty typical summer day, but I'm mentioning it because it may look a little bit hazy for you. Mountain forecast tomorrow, temperatures in the low 80s in Asheville and Boone, 74 up in Grandfather Mountain, those higher elevations in the 60s. Um, just inland from the beaches, it'll be hot over the weekend, 88 in Wilmington. Um, but all along the coast, our temperatures will be in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees, so very comfortable. We do have uh, moderate rip current danger from uh, the Outer Banks all the way down through Wilmington, so be careful if you're going to be swimming. A hot weekend for us, 88 Saturday, 91 for Father's Day, but we are rain-free and the humidity will be a little lower.